Welcome back to the newest project. So I bought this specifically so that I can go on a road trip in a month from now. So the goal is to get everything repaired and the car restored, insured, everything so that I can drive it 1,500 miles, 3,000 round trip to Montana and help move my grandparents. So it's a 2014 Ford Edge, the sport trim, which is the highest trim for the year. It's got really nice Falcons on it overall. Just really nice car. I think it'll be really comfortable to road trip in and help bring some stuff back. It only has 83,000 miles, uh, which is good for 2014 and has some good value in it still. So I'll be able to sell this once I'm done with it. All right, let's get into it. Since I have such a short time period to work on this, probably won't be explaining everything I do and moving through it a bit more quickly. So we can see the wheels are crooked because of the steering rack being completely separated. I haven't seen any other damage under there yet. Front crash bar, a small impact on the side there, but looks fine behind it. Got a new headlight on the way already. Got bumper and piece ordered from Ford. Already picked up a fender and a knuckle, which I thought I might need, but I don't. And fog light along with that. Need to get a hood. I was curious about how damaged this was, but I didn't see the figured I'd just knock it back out. And I still might just to get it up to Montana but replace it later. The airbags are blown on this and that cracked the windshield. So I'll need to replace the windshield and get the airbags and probably yeah, seat belts done. So I'm gonna do all the body work and stuff and then have that stuff repaired at a shop. things break is always interesting to me. So that's towards the steering rack of our inner tie rod. And you can see it just kind of looks like it's melted almost. Uh, but I cut off the other end so that I could move that using a socket because uh, I couldn't get enough leverage on it with wrenches. So now our inner rod is all good. And then inside where this end, or the other end, connected. You can see the ball in the socket there, and then it just sheared. All right, yesterday I went to AutoZone, got the tie rod inner, and today went, picked up the parts from Ford. I ordered a new lug nut, because I need one, and the bumper to fender bracket. Then we have our front bumper, and then part of the grill cover trim. Go ahead and unbox all this and get back to work, get that in, get this car driving. Got the end out. I have the new one, it's ready to go on. Okay, I've just put in an order with Ford for the uh, steering boot. So I don't really wanna close this up in case they can fill that before I go to work today. So we're just gonna go ahead and move on to the bumper.
All right, it's day three, new load of parts. We got our bumper and we have the bracket for the fender to go to the body. And then FedEx just stopped. This is our headlight. Our new pump for the windshield washer. Once you have access to your washer pump, it's a no tools required job. If it wasn't broken, this piece would be attached. Pull off both hoses. Wiggle the new one out, or the old one out. And we're done. Start off by cleaning up. So, new parts, new parts reusing and replacements. That fender there, I can walk, and tools kind of set. Um, today, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the crash bar, get all that stuff right, pull the curl out of this little bit, and get the hood to where we can get the fender on and won't interrupt that. Need to thing this a little straighter and get that divot out and little things uh, so that we can start piecing it back together a little bit. So after just those few clips, my phone overheated and wouldn't record anymore, but I couldn't let that stop me from working more. So I got this pulled out and that looks pretty good. I'm gonna see how it actually fits up. Obviously when we put the fender on and then this perpendicular to the frame, which is what we want. So hopefully the bracket to the fender there also works. Um, it's not perfect. There's, if I could get in there and hammer, I would. As soon as we had the cross member off, we were able to, not cross member, as soon as we had the crash bar off, able to bolt this up because it was already coming forward where it needs to be. Alright, wheels back on and I put the battery back in, but it is totally dead. It's not giving me anything. I didn't work on the car. Days five and six, so it's day seven. It's early morning. Got our windshield replaced. Later on I'll be going to get the hood and we'll be able to piece together the front end, figure out why it's not starting based on a relay or if I need to get a new battery. And then we'll be getting it scheduled for seat belts and airbags. So this will be pretty much done and ready. Okay, let's see if we can get this airbag removed so that we don't have to have it in the way. Okay, so our original battery went in charge. Uh, so went ahead and got a new one and let's see if I can get this to start. Hey. All right, that's a relief. I can now schedule for airbags and seat belts to be fixed and then once I have that scheduled and know it will be done within a certain time frame I can schedule for the inspection at the same time or right after I should say and that'll complete this I mean I have to put the body back together over there but 
it's good. So it runs and drives. I just took it around the block. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here now that we got it started, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. The bonus outro. So I just wanted to let everybody know that I do plan on continuing to make videos and upload as regularly as I can. With this summer being as hot as it has in Arizona, like way beyond record numbers all across the board, uh, it's just been tough. I wouldn't have bought a car or even two now if I knew this was gonna be the case, but it's calming down now and I'm gonna get back on the F-350, I'm gonna finish up the edge and then we're gonna get back on the Poe and we'll get into other things as, you know, these temporary ones are gone and I wanna accomplish my goals for Poe for the year. So, thanks for watching this. Feel free to watch other videos and I'll be working on getting other stuff out to you. Thanks, bye.